My first goal back when I'm training is just like when I started. A one hand rim hang. Become civilized. All black. Clean. Boy, I got the all black because of him hooping outdoors. Kind of on my dunk grind again, no expectations, but this could be a game changer. Barefoot shoes have changed my training. So big love to foamy buckets, not just for showing me love, but for showing love for the feet. Cause I'm about that energy from the toe up, dude, to the temple, toe to the temple, dude. Hoop in. If I can hoop in the, I will, wow. I'm gonna be the biggest fan. Of so good. That was honestly first try. Shoes feel fantastic. The toe box is so wide, which I love. I'm not at my full jumping capacity right now, so I don't know if I can fully test. I do feel a good amount of impact, even just on a jump shot when I'm landing. So I don't know if that's just something to get used to or it's gonna be a problem. Oh God. This court's not the best. start bringing the tape measure back. How's your boy looking for 31? By the way, people say that I feel like I'm 21. Honestly, I feel like I'm just getting younger. A goal that came to mind that felt like the healthiest, which is my focus, is to be basically like young Chi. How high can I get my vertical standing? If I had a 40 inch vertical standing, I think all my childhood trauma would dissipate. My first goal back when I'm training is just like when I started, a one hand rim hang. Wow, it's a powerful goal. So wherever you are, that should be your first goal. Oh, I got it, I got it today. I got it today, let's go. Why? I'm dunk training again. It's because the thought of getting a rim hang and the feeling of doing it gets me that hype. It's, it's the same hype as landing any dunk. That's what I love about what I feel about this sport. So I hope you find something that lights you up that much along the journey, not just the highest part of it. Oh. We're getting it back in our 30s. It's so funny, just like when I was way younger, I would hang on this side of the rim because it doesn't bend as much, at least not this rim. The rim goes down and has a lot of inertia, good word, and it's harder to hold on. So holding on from the baseline was how I got my very first rim hang, which I can't find the footage because I think I deleted it on an old computer. This was before YouTube. This is before my start day video. I was training just to see if I could even hang on the rim. And then the dunk journey started. I could confidently guarantee this is not 10 feet, but I'll measure it another time. Still a goal. That's the thing, it's still a goal. I couldn't do this at one point, now I might be able to. The smallest nick you could ever imagine. It's crazy the fears. Am I doing too much on my legs? Am I gonna swing? Am I gonna fall? Shut up. I've never been in my life. <laughs> about where you are in the mountain. It's about achieving each step. God, that feels good. It feels so good. Anything that lights you up, go for that first step. The achievement, nothing into something is what it's all about. I'm about to dunk right now. I just said I'm gonna work on standing vertical. You know how this goes. Yo, I should stop because I've never jumped this much because I'm very excited. So, learning from my own wisdom, quit while you're ahead. Is the sun coming out? This is very exciting. I feel great. I still have hamstring injuries. I'm learning about mobility. I've been doing a chiropractic service for almost three months. A lot more range of motion and I'm about to hit the gym now to rehabilitate. Stay tuned if you want to achieve your dreams. For hooping and the gym, best shoe by far. One of the biggest mistakes you can make right now, if you're a human, 
is not documenting where you're at. I'm not saying share your story. I'm not even saying create or edit it. I'm just saying document it because it's just so much fun to see your own progress. It's so much fun to practice that skill of expressing yourself in that way. So document in whatever way, even if it's a journal, a little log of what you're doing, it's a beautiful thing. Nine, nine. We have found ourselves a baby room, folks. Okay, back out here. It's too beautiful. Came out here for clear my mind, get my sweat on, and I'm just feeling bouncy, dude. Yeah. It's a different kind of hype today. I didn't sleep well. Life waves, relationships. It's just a lot of emotions, a lot of energy move. And so the hype is felt, but not as expressed. I feel like I'm about to bang one. It's literally opening the floodgates with patience and healing first. One of the biggest mistakes, or better yet, one of the biggest things you can do on any physical journey you're on is listen to your body every single day. You can build that connection with your body. That's gonna be the greatest asset you can give to yourself as you train and translate to everything. I'll say this for the rest of my life, it's energy first because you have to have the ability to push yourself to that level to achieve something because it's have that drive and that starts with energy. I don't care how strong you are, how fast you are. Right now, I am inspired and it is a feeling I will chase to the end of the earth. It might be the single greatest thing that dunking has taught me is that we have this feeling, we have these callings that pull us and we don't know where we're going with them, but we, our job is to trust and have fun. So whenever I feel this inspiration, it aligns everything in my life from my nutrition, my sleep, my activity, my physical, my mental, my business, my creativity, the people I align with, and that's what I want to continue to follow. So I don't know where I'm going, I can't know. Inspiration is something outside of us. How is my little mind gonna know it? I challenge you to follow that inspiration. We all have the feeling. It's not that you have to tap in and feel it. You have it at every moment. It's the courage to follow that inspiration. I'm reading this book, Mastery. It's gonna take me nine years, but he writes Latin. I love Latin. Inspired, the Latin word meaning something from the outside breathing within us. It's bigger than us. We feel it coming through us. We don't know why because it's not from us. I want to live inspired. I like to be inspired. I like to be the energy. Hoodies coming soon. Let's freaking go. There's no better feeling. I will do my best to continue to follow it and share my journey with you. Can't wait to see what inspiration it, where, huh? Where it takes me. It's a feeling we can't explain, but we share. I wish I could kiss you right now. Mwah.